Hey Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by to watch our Divi documentation video on the full width slider module. Now the full width slider module is an excellent tool for building dynamic hero sections or just sections throughout your page where you want to have sliding content that goes the full width. So what we're gonna do first in this is show you how to use the basics, um, basic settings on this module and just kind of get it up and running. And then we're gonna show you a use case where we get a little bit more creative and you can see what the full width slider module is really capable of. Check it out. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Divi's full width slider module. As you might imagine, the full width slider module allows you to create sliders that span the entire width of your browser window. And we'll be doing this today in the Visual Builder. So first things first, let's go ahead and enable the Visual Builder. When we do that, you can see the Visual Builder controls start to pop up when we scroll over certain areas. Now when I get to a section break, you're gonna see this blue button here um, that says add new section when I hover over it. And I'm gonna click that and choose the purple full width option. Now I have several full width module uh, section options, and I'm gonna go ahead and choose the full width slider. Okay, so here's my full width slider. It's not populated, so that's why it's white. Um, let's go ahead and add a new slide. And so basically what I plan to do is more or less just duplicate some of this existing content up here and then replace it um, with my with my slider so see I'm filling in my heading button text and here's my content if I scroll down here so now you can see that taking shape even though it's white on white we'll add some uh, uh, a background here to bring up the contrast now the link is staying you know this is just a filler link um, but obviously if I wanted to actually link to something, I would put my button URL here. Uh, if I wanna add an image next to this, uh, this text, I could do it right here. So just to show you an example, here's an image. And now we have an image that shows up right beside it. Okay, so now let's work on the background because we want this text to appear. Uh, so obviously I could add a background just like that. I also have the option to add a gradient, an image, or a video. And each of these options, just like all of our section backgrounds throughout Divi, uh, has just a wealth of customizability. So there's um, the possibility for parallax, uh, different background image size options, uh, background image position, uh, repeating effects, and then one of my new favorites, the blend effects. So it's a wide range. If you're familiar with uh, any modern photo editing software, you're going to really like getting into these blend effects and achieving some pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep this as is. And what I'd like to do is focus on the slider aspect here and just add more slides so you can see what it's going to look like when it's finished. So I'm actually just gonna duplicate this one real quick so I have a second slide in there. And one more time. So now you can see we've got three slides. And obviously if I'm creating this for a live website or a finished project, I would want those to be separate and to be relevant to our message. But just for the sake of this quick tutorial, can really get the idea of what's possible and how this is going to look. So now that we've got some content in there and we can see the slider in action, let's go over the options within the full width slider, kind of tab by tab. So the first tab here uh, is content, and this is where we add our slides. Now there's some element options here. We have elements, background, and admin label. Admin label is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's just the label that will appear if you're looking at this in the back end or in the kind of skeleton mode. So let's talk elements. These are the arrows. So we can choose to show or hide our navigation arrows over here. I like to have them uh, visible. And we can also show or hide our controls, which is right here, these dots. 
And then background, of course, we've already gone over some of those options here, but uh, on a slide by slide level, but we can also change the background for the entire slider altogether. So um, I'm not gonna mess with these, but you do have that option. Okay, so let's move on to design. Uh, we can change layout, and that's just the inner shadows. There's a slight shadow right on the inside there. Um, then we have header text. Now this will change the header text for all headers on all slides. This is kind of the master uh, settings here. Same for body text and spacing. So top and bottom padding is really big. So let's just say uh, you have an image that's going too high or taking up too much of the frame and you want to center it more. So you might add some padding at the top, some padding at the bottom, and you see how this is really starting to take up a bigger portion of the page. Oops, it's a thousand. Didn't want to do that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and actually get us back to where we were. But that padding is really nice. A uh, really nice option for getting it to take up the just the right amount of the screen that you want it to. Um, and then, of course, I can add custom button styles that will affect all the buttons and all the sliders. And just as a note, if you change the button styles on a particular slide, that will override this, this general, um, all these general settings. And here we have the advanced section where we can add CSS ID and class, custom CSS to several elements, animation, so there's automatic animation, we can turn that on, and we can adjust the speed in which it, uh, it cycles through uh, the slider for us by adjusting this right here. This is the animation speed in milliseconds. And we can choose to continue or not this automatic transition if someone is hovering over it. So you might think, well, if someone's hovering over this slider, I want it to stay put um, so that they can read it because it seems like they're interested in that slide. So that's what that setting would be for. Okay, back on the content settings, um, we can jump right into a slide. And I just wanna quickly go over what's possible within each slide because again, each slide also has the three tabs, content, design, and advanced. And it's basically the exact same. I just want to make sure that everybody's clear on what these sections do. So um, your your text, that's where you have all of your um, uh, settings for adding your heading, your, your body text, and your button text. Now designs where it gets kind of interesting. So what we can do here is we can, on a slide by slide basis, we can add a background overlay, a text overlay. We can change the appearance of the navigation. We can change the uh, alignment of the image. We can adjust text styles, header text styles, body text styles, and this is all on a slide by slide basis. So this will override your general uh, slider settings and the same goes for anything that you might enter in here uh, custom CSS wise in the advanced tab all right so that is a quick overview of what is possible with the full width slider module so now that I have it in place let's just say I want to make that my hero section so I'm gonna go up here and I don't want to get rid of this because I kind of like it so I'm just gonna disable it and then I'm gonna hit control s and save. I could also just open this up manually and click this save button over here to the right hand corner. And what's going to happen is when I exit the visual builder, I have a nice new beautiful full width slider.